right, just a quick video on uh, multiple images. If you happen to want to use a mix and match approach on some of your stuff, like uh, let's say you had some software and you know, and it, it required Simon's basic cartridge to run, you can actually run the cartridge image, and you can also load from a diskette. Now, this is a uh, uh, the six the C64, sometimes called the Maxi. Uh, and it's a replica of a Commodore 64. So it's actually emulation uh, going on here. And we've got a, a USB stick on the side rather than a disk drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse over to my cartridges. And uh, I'll give you an example. I'm going to load a fast load cartridge. Now, I also want to point out this option here, which you could turn off. The system has its own um, fast load built in. So sometimes it causes compatibility issues. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off since I'm, I'm gonna load a fast load cartridge image. So we'll go ahead and do that and I'm gonna use the, the second option, which is to launch it. So uh, if you have one of these cartridges, you'll know when they come up, they have the word fast load under the ready screen. So that's how you know the cartridge is actually in there. So at this point, I wanna be able to load a, a, a disc image. So let me go and uh, look for some disc images here. D64, here we go. We'll just do this one, the Christmas demo. And uh, rather than launch, I'm gonna use the uh, the back option. So you'll see uh, in the drive slot, I've got something already here. Now I've got the Christmas demo diskette, and I've also got the fast load cartridge uh, image as well loaded on there. So uh, the good thing about uh, fast load, most of you are, are accustomed to doing this for a directory, and that works. But there's an easier way to do it with the uh, the fast load cartridge, which I always love. So if you hit just a dollar sign, that will bring you up a directory as well. And if you're not familiar with the fast load cartridge, it, it uh, speeds up loading software on the 1541 drive tremendously. Uh, that was a notoriously slow drive, and this really helped out. But it also had some other interesting items on it. If you hit the pound option here, um, we can go into the menu. And you can pull up a directory that way. You can copy diskettes. Uh, if you wanted to disable the cartridge from here, you could. And it's also got file utilities in there as well. Like you can lock files and, and do that sort of thing. But uh, it was really neat uh, cartridge to have back in the day. But we'll go back to basic here. And, and the main thing I wanted to show was uh, two images at once. So I've actually got a cartridge image and a diskette image both on at the same time. And uh, you could do that with uh, multiple multiple cartridges if you have utilities um, that you wanna use with software that's on diskette or tape. And uh, I suppose you could probably do all three if you had uh, the need to wanna to load software off of a cassette and move the contents onto a diskette. You could load uh, those images as well. Just a quick video on that. Uh, this is the C64 by Retro Games, and uh, it's a pretty neat little system, even without the uh, cartridge slot on the back.